Hi, I'm Joan Kang Shin. Welcome to Our World's Professional Development Program. These videos will help teachers improve their classroom practice and help their students to get the most out of Our World. This video is about how to manage a classroom of young learners. Managing the classroom is always a challenge. Whether the class has 15 students or 60 students, or whether the class has students of the same age or many different ages, teachers everywhere find it challenging to keep young learners on task and engaged in the learning process. Young learners are energetic, easily distracted, and can be very egocentric. Given the chance, they can become rowdy and disruptive. However, there are ways you can keep control of the classroom while still giving students the chance to interact and be active in the learning process. The goal is to create a positive and productive atmosphere for learning to take place. This means skillful management of activities and student behavior. Managing the classroom means engaging students and securing cooperation so that teaching and learning can occur. Knowing how to manage your class is as important as understanding best practices for teaching and learning a foreign language. Unlike adults and even teenagers who can manage their own learning and understand why they're sitting in English class, children are ruled by their own immediate needs and desires, which usually do not include learning a foreign language. Young learner English teachers need to develop a plan for managing their classroom that will keep young learners engaged and on task and not give them opportunities to misbehave and get out of control. Let's look at some useful tips that will help you manage your classroom more effectively so you can get the most out of our world and create the kind of learning environment that leads to student success. A first step in classroom management is getting your students' attention. It's a good idea to have several attention-getting strategies ready for when your young learners become excited, talkative, or distracted. Maybe the classroom is loud because students are doing group work and many of them are talking at once. Or maybe you are just starting class and students are still settling into their seats and chatting with friends you can prepare different strategies for getting students' attention during the lesson that are quick and easy to use. For example, you might turn off the lights for a few seconds or blow a whistle to get their attention. <coughs> or you might try a fun clapping technique. You clap rhythms and students repeat the rhythms like this. When students repeat by clapping, their attention is on you and you can begin the next activity confident that they are ready to learn. Another technique is raising your hand and waiting for students to stop talking. This is a good classroom management technique that also helps students learn to be good listeners. Take a look at how this teacher in the Dominican Republic uses this technique. He holds his hand in the air until all his students stop talking, raise their hands, and look at him. Ready? Yes. In addition, it is useful to have attention getters that encourage students to speak in English. You can use a call and response strategy. For example, you can call out, one, two, three, eyes on me, and then students respond, one, two, eyes on you, and look at you. Another fun call and response attention getter is called, when I say blank, you say blank. For example, when I say our, you say world, our, world, our, world. Or how about, when I say foot, you say ball, foot, ball, foot, ball. Great. 
you can use new vocabulary words to call and respond and even let students decide for themselves the call and response words at the beginning of class. Another important classroom management technique is having students raise their hands and wait to be called on. Young learners can be very spontaneous and eager to call out answers to questions, especially when they are sure they have the correct answer. However, it is important to give all students a chance to think of the correct answer and share their thoughts. It is not good practice to let students call out answers out of turn. Every class has enthusiastic and quick students who can easily dominate the classroom. It is up to the teacher to manage the speaking and turn taking in class and encourage all students to participate. One recommended technique is to require students to raise their hands when they want to answer or say something. When you use this technique, it is important not to let students speak until you call on them. If you allow students to speak before you call on them, they get into the habit of raising their hands and saying the answer out loud, which can be disruptive. Watch how this teacher in the United Arab Emirates effectively uses hand raising. She has clearly trained her students to raise their hands without talking. Notice the amount of time she waits until every student has a chance to think about the answer before she calls on a student. After you ask a question, allow sufficient wait time before calling on a student to respond. Although it can be difficult, it is recommended to wait at least three to five seconds to increase the quantity and quality of responses. Next class, try to increase your wait time before calling on a student and see if you can increase the level of participation of your young learners. Finally, you can use movement to manage transitions in class. Young learners like to move around and use their bodies. You can provide chances for students to move around the room when you transition from one activity to the next. Teaching students to move when you are changing to a new activity gives them a chance to use some energy and get up out of their seats. Take a look at one teacher in the Dominican Republic who routinely asks students to stand up when he puts them into groups or pairs. This teacher even has students work together standing up to get them up out of their seats and keep their energy level high. Depending on your classroom size and arrangement, it may be possible to designate specific areas for group work and whole class time. Watch how this teacher uses the floor in front of the board for whole class activities and then move students to tables for group work. This teacher in the United Arab Emirates has an effective classroom management technique that gets students to move around and helps them know what to do next. She manages their movement by assigning each group a specific table and color. When she says, blue go back, for example, students in that group know exactly where to go and know their group work will start once they are sitting at their table. Take a look at your classroom and think about how you can use movement with young learners to help manage the transitions in your class. One of a teacher's major responsibilities is to manage the classroom to allow for maximum student learning and success. Young learners especially need a structured environment to learn more effectively. Teachers should use certain techniques to keep students' attention and manage their behavior in class. Hopefully, the tips in this video have given you some ideas for keeping control in your classroom while still allowing your students the chance to interact and be active in the learning process. Once you start using these techniques, 
you will find your class is more productive and even more exciting for your young learners. This is our world. Everybody's got a song to sing. Each boy and girl. This is our world.